Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, DC, you may want to retire before this guy becomes the number one heavyweight contender. Francis Ngannou, the power threat, born in Cameroon, raised in France, and He's carved out quite a nice niche here thus far in the UFC. Yes, he has. He's a very scary fighter. The knockout reel of Francis Ngannou is crazy, and the names now are starting to pile up. When you can knock out Alistair Overeem, Curtis Blades, and Cain Velasquez, people will take notice. It's just this confidence and this calmness about Francis that makes him even scarier than all of his physical attributes is his ability to really stand in there and know that it only takes one shot and he could be wearing a UFC championship. And UFC 218 was so good that that knockout of Alistair Overeem did not even earn Francis Ngannou a bonus. Wow, that's insane. Don't that's shoot, not true. Don't shoot the man. right hand that makes the opponent move up and then he goes to the next position whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound his opponents into the bottom of the octagon. And of course it all starts with maintaining top position which he does as well as anyone in the game. Ladies and gentlemen this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first fighting at the blue corner a boxer holding a professional record of 15 wins three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator and God! And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion. The Where the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And Ganu gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Punch is blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Circling to his right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 
Gets on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, straight right. Under a minute now to go. Oh. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean. <laughs> to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. He got it. Just missed what with the left What a fight there. so far. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Big Paul punch land. Now he gets back to range. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fighting this guy, man. Aren't you coaching high school wrestling yeah, I'm instead? Yeah, I'm coaching Mustang. When they say Ngannou, I say, hey, I got a tournament this weekend. I'll see you guys on the flip side. <laughs> oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Powerful leg kick lands. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, Really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Effective jab there by Francis and Ghana. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> he ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, that is a huge left hook from Francis Ngannou. Somehow, some way, his opponent's still standing. I mean, I, I, this guy's chin is made of granite in order to take a punch like that from Francis Ngannou. One of the most powerful guys I've ever seen step into the UFC outcome. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just out of range with that left hook. He went high on that one. Oh! And Ganu 
Cruz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Big body kick. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. A big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. 72 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Ghana. And landing. Whoa! Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. With two minutes and change to go in round three. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. The Predator gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very very fast. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Right, let's re the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick. Over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. All right, with that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, two seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by... And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.